Building blocks have long been used as a learning tool in the classroom, but for students at King George VI Public School in Kenora, the building blocks they're learning with are slightly more advanced than the Lego of yesteryear. Adam Riley gives us an inside look at the Lego League Robotics Club. Call it an early start to 21st century learning. Since September, students at King George VI Public School in Kenora have been designing, building and programming robots. Not robots on the scale of the Terminator or R2-D2, but smaller prototype ones that eventually could be used in real-world applications someday soon. Take, for example, Griffin Ratcliffe's grabber hand, which could be used as a limb replacement for amputees. He says he loves all the opportunities the kits offer. And it's really cool because you need to program stuff and it's actually just a time to stop. Like on these really cold days, you can just come here to, to the library at every break so you don't have to get cold. For Brenna Jones, Lego League Robotics Club was introduced just as she was about to leave for middle school, but not before she learned some extra skills and helps mentor some of the younger students. She says while the kits have their challenges, it also allows her to flex her creativity. Probably building, because like for this one, it was just this back piece, but for some reason the app uh, doesn't have the instruction to build the actual fish, so you kind of have to eyeball it and try your best to do it. That's probably the hardest part. Laura Farrell is a special education resource teacher at King George and one of the coordinators of the Lego League Robotics Club. She says it amazes her how the students approach projects and how they tackle issues that arise. They are so excited. They come, um, you can tell they're excited, the noise level goes up, uh, they are engaged, they are so excited to share their learning, what they're doing, what they're seeing. Just the, the look of wonder when something connects and when something works. And when something doesn't work, then they're going back to the drawing board and trying to figure out a way to make it work. So just watching that thought process for problem solving is, for me, is very exciting. Each kit has a price tag that sits around $500, but Farrell says the club gives students who may not have an interest in sports another outlet to excel at, which is worth that price. Along with the initial 16 kits purchased by the board, another seven have been purchased and are on order, giving these students a heads up and a head start into the world of science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. Adam Riley, TVT News. What a great program for those kids. It looks like they have a blast.